I'm Mark Doty, the Archive and Education Specialist at the Bob Moog Foundation. Why are we here? We're here to learn about synthesis. Synthesis in itself is the result of synthesis. The synthesis of ideas and creativity and work and effort and technology and discovery and development that happened essentially in the 20th century. If we're really going to understand synthesis, and we're going to, it'd be a great idea to understand how synthesis came about. You're not going to have an understanding of synthesis without knowing the history of synthesis, which is what synthesis is made of. Because every single step along the way defines how a particular component of the synthesizer came to be. And through understanding where all of it came from, you will have a better understanding of what these components are and what they do. What we're going to do is we're going to look back in the hundred years that precede us and look at the inventors, the visionaries, the musicians, the composers, the technicians, the engineers, the scientific discoveries, the technological developments, the devices that were made, the composers that inspired new devices or used old devices to create new sounds. All of these people whose work and efforts came together to bring us this incredible ability to shape sound. Let's look at the synthesis of synthesis.